Alethea, it's um, back in FA Cup action this weekend and it's a trip to last year's finalist, Manchester City. It's going to be a tough test, isn't it? Yeah, obviously we, we know they're a top flight team and they're in good form at the moment and their result yesterday night showed that 6-0 uh, against Bristol. So it's a tough test, but I think we're ready for it. I was going to say, we saw, of course, what they were capable of. Is it a, a challenge that you relish as a player, being able to test yourselves against the best teams rather than something that you're you know, scared of? Yeah, definitely. I think it's always a really good experience and to compare yourself really to see the difference between Championship and WSL at the moment. Um, I don't think it's something you should be scared of necessarily and I think it's a good chance to implement what Luke's been put in place since he's come in now. So I think it's going to be a good test, yeah. And obviously we faced Manchester City in pre-season. It's a bit of a different circumstance, but held them to a draw and put in, you know, a solid performance there. You must think as well with magic of the FA Cup, there's, a, there's belief there. Yeah, obviously you never know what's going to happen. Any, any game you don't know the result, so all we can do is try our best, work on the game plan, put a good account for ourselves on the pitch and you never know what the result might be. And the league situation is a difficult one at the moment. But the FA Cup does offer a break from that and a different challenge. Obviously, in the last round, it was a convincing win against Nottingham Forest. This is going to be a more challenging test. But is it nice to take a break from the league, focus on something different, and just take your mind away from, uh, from that and have a different challenge for a while? Yeah, everyone knows our stance in the league at the moment. It's not where we want to be. And I think the Forest game came at a good time to boost our confidence and get some goals in the back of the net. Um, Again, it's, it's nice to have a break from the league and kind of that pressure's off us for this weekend because it is a no-pressure game and it's just one of them where we go out there and see what we can do. Of course, yourself, you spent a fair few years at Manchester City. Um, you came through the youth teams and that's where you made your senior debut as well, wasn't it? You must have very fond memories of your time there. Yeah, yeah, I came on from Manchester United into the Man City Devs and it was a really good place, really looked after me, uh, managed to get my first uh, senior appearance there as well so yeah it's always nice to go back there. And what sort of memories do you have of the time in terms of you know are there going to be familiar faces that you might see? I know a lot of people will have moved on but you must have a, still a few familiar faces you might see on Sunday? Yeah I think there's there's been a few changes there but um, there is a, one of the goalkeepers Sandy I played with her in the devs for a bit so it'd be nice to see some familiar faces. And or more generally speaking, in terms of your, your time at Sheffield United, because although you're a Manchester girl, you've been here and you're now in your fifth season here, I believe. So you must start to feel like a bit at home in Sheffield as well, although you don't live here. Do you start to feel a bit more part of the furniture after so long at one club? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I think I felt at home as soon as I came through the door. And I think that's shown because I've, I've, not, I've not moved on just yet. And I've always felt like it was the right place for me to be. And for everything that I've been through for all the seasons, injuries, illnesses, whatnot, they've always looked after me and treated me really well. So, yeah, I do love it here. And you captained the side for the first time earlier this season. Can we get your reflections on that? I know it's been a while, but it must be, you know, a sense of, you must feel a sense of pride to wear that armband. Yeah, I was obviously absolutely buzzing when Luke and Zoe told me and it was an honour to pass it down from Barks and Courts, so it was a really proud moment for me and family were really proud and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And you're not one of the most senior uh, members of the squad in terms of age, but in terms of your length of service to Sheffield United, you are now. So do you feel a, a sense of your leadership to some of the younger players who are coming through as well? And can you pass on some of that experience? We see you know, your relationship with some of the younger players is great. Yeah, um, I'm not in age that old. <laughs> I don't think I am. I don't feel old at all. but. I think, like you said, because I've been here for so many seasons now and I kind of know the ins and outs of the club and how it runs, um, I do take that role on. And especially against when we played Villa, another top flight side, I was so proud of Mia and I think she had one of her best games of the season there. Uh, T as well, scoring last weekend. I was so happy for her and unbelievably proud. So, yeah, I hope I can just show them a good pathway and what, what they can really become. And how important will it be then going... Obviously, focus is on Man City first, but then into the final games of the season, having players like yourself and some of the older players in the squad as well, being able to really you know, rally the troops. Yeah, I think the position we're in as well, we need, we need some of that experience there. And I think we've got the right players to do that. And I believe we can come out the end of it and be a successful season, end it on a good note. So, 
yeah, we just got to use the experience, use the youth, use everyone in the squad, the depth of the squad, and hopefully we can uh, start picking up some points.